And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 21st of August, 2020. It's the birthday of the novelist Robert Stone, born Brooklyn, 1937, raised by his mother who was schizophrenic, and when she went into an institution, he went into a Catholic orphanage. Sometimes he and his mother would drive cross-country and end up in a Salvation Army shelter or a random hotel. He said, my early life was very strange. I was a solitary. Radio fashioned my imagination. Dropped out of high school, joined the Navy, moved to New York City, worked as a copy boy at the Daily News, went briefly to NYU, got married, moved to New Orleans, and there he was inspired to write his first novel entitled A Hall of Mirrors, which came out in 1967. Robert Stone served as a correspondent in Vietnam for a British magazine where he got material to come home and write the novel Dog Soldiers. came out in 1974, story of a burnt-out playwright, John Converse, who leaves the fading counterculture of California to work as a correspondent in Vietnam and ends up smuggling heroin out of the country. It won the National Book Award. Robert Stone said writing is lonely. Most of the time you're in a room by yourself. Writers spend more time in rooms, staying awake in quiet rooms than they do hunting lions in Africa. So it's a bad life for a person because it's so lonely and because it consists of such highs and lows. And there's not always anywhere to take these emotional states. It's a life that's tough to sustain without falling prey to some kind of beguiling diversion that's not good for you. It's the birthday of poet Ellen Hinsey, born Boston, 1960, author of Update on the Descent. Ellen Hinsey, who said, Poetry is the conscience of a society. No individual poem can stop a war. That's what diplomacy is supposed to do. But poetry is an independent ambassador for conscience. It answers to no one. It crosses borders without a passport, and it speaks the truth. That's why it is one of the most powerful of the arts. Here's a poem for today by Jacinta V. White, entitled Gumbo Soil. Gumbo soil is great for growing cotton and blueberries and heirloom roses, but it is better for burying the dead and stories and roots and family ties and nonsense and quarrels and letters and coins, and cigarette butts, and moonshine, and past lives, and past wives with boyfriends, and all things unspeakable, and guilt and sin, and worn shoes, and costume jewelry, and faux fur, and fake identities, and hatchets, and all the harsh language ever spoken to you or against you, words that stink and slay and slash and fly out, all which cannot be unburied, deep memories and gapped smiles and southern charm and lopsided history books and roots of willow trees, still trying to speak if anyone will listen, and letters in boxes under floorboards and bruised photos and the feet of your too late lover standing graveside tearful and empty handed Gumbo Soil a poem by Jacinta V White from Resurrecting the Bones published by Press 53 and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.